Hey Collective, what's going on? How y'all doing? It's me, it's your girl Stacy. Here to do an energy read because I feel like it. Remember that time is fluid, so whenever you see this message, it's when you're meant to say it. It's a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone, so please let me take what resonates and leave the rest. How y'all doing this evening? This evening. I don't know, I picked up this deck. <laughs> I picked up this deck and I was like, look, you about to start some shit. <laughs> but, you know, it's like I want to have some fun with it, you know what I mean? So, hey. That's for entertainment purposes, right? Correct. Spirit, what's the message here for the collective? So let's see what happens. We'll see how it goes. What's the message? Please and thank you. Who? The truth. Come on now. <laughs> it's because it's going to tell the truth. That's why you don't want to deal with them cards. <laughs> ah, divine timing. Come on now. Yeah, confession, clarity, revealing, revealing secrets. All right, let's see what's going on. Oop, don't jump out my hair now. So, this person, the energy I'm picking up is somebody that's standing their ground. They ain't finna argue with you. You hear me? You're not, you're not convincing me otherwise because I know the absolute truth. <clears throat> I'm not going to go back and forth with you. Don't come over here with that. It's what I heard. Ooh, legal matters. Mm. Somebody could have some kind of legal matters. Justice. A judgment. Mm. So there's some kind of truth. Some kind of clarity that's going to be revealed. Also could be some kind of secrets revealed as well. Because things are going to be brought into balance. So this could be like a judge, okay? A ju well, it does say judgment. I'm finna say a judgment. Somebody could be getting a divorce, okay? Because yeah, that's on here. But it's justice, though. What's this? Surrounding a relationship. Some kind of secret relationship, I heard. Commitment, partnership, boyfriend and girlfriend. Hmm. Somebody could confess something about a relationship, reveal some kind of some kind of clarity on a secret relationship. Something could be coming out in some kind of legal matter. Somebody may want to come and tell you before it comes out in front of everybody. Or they may be coming to try to plead their case, take it how it resonates. <laughs> we got change, roll the dice, and healing. All three of those jumped out here. Healing. Roll the dice. They took a chance, a leap of faith, and change. Something's going to change. It's going to be changed forever, too. It'll never be the same again. It's a, it's a transformation. A cycle that's closing out. Okay, we got healing here. Healing old wounds. Maybe this judgment, this justice will heal some wounds. It'll uh, mend some things. Bring, like it's already said, bringing clarity. There's clarity going to be brought with this. I don't know why I'm feeling like, well, I'm hearing like somebody saying you're finally making progress, you're finally getting somewhere, or or it's finally over. Two, I just heard. It's finally over. Taking a chance, risk, leap of faith, strategy. Yeah, see, I told you somebody's going to try and come in. And reveal something to you before you find out about it. Because you're going to find out about it because it's something that's legal. Alright? Could be something that could you have to go to court. You could, you know what I'm saying? So that's their strategy to try to come in. And try to heal things with you. 
before this comes out. Mm. Watch out. What deck do I want to use for clarification? Because, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But this cycle's closed. You, this cycle's closed for you. You're standing in your Queen of Swords energy. You know what I mean? You, you, you understand. You accept it. You learned your lesson. You know truths. You know your truth. You know the truth that you know. All right, with this Queen of Swords, you can be very intuitive. That that's the other truth I'm talking about. You know what I mean? And you you change. You're not the same person that you were before. All right. But whatever this is, you you've grown in some kind of way. You recycled. You renewed yourself. You you did you did something that. You just ain't accepting the BS no more. That's what I'm really trying to say. Somebody's going to try to come in. That's they're going to take a chance. Huh. They're taking a leap of faith for sure, for sure. they praying and hoping. I don't know who they praying and hoping to. That, that you, uh, that this change that you've made, you know what I'm saying, will, will let, allow you to have empathy and um, compassion for them. Forgiveness, whoo wee, and help them out. That's what they want. That's what they want. They want you to help them out. Mm -hmm. Let's go down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Let's go down the rabbit hole. Spirit, what's this message? What's going on here? What is this truth that's coming out? This could have been somebody that you were married to, that you you that uh, you could have divorced, or you could be in the process of divorcing. Cause cause I'm looking at the healing, and I'm trying to figure out what's this legal energy got to do with the healing. And then you then you got roll the dice and change. So I feel like this is you. You know, during this process, you've been healing. You've been improving, you've been mending, you know what I'm saying? You've been making progress with yourself. That's why you can stand in your truth. That's why, you know, this person rolling the dice and trying to come in and play on your weaknesses. You're not in that energy no more. You met, you changed. You've transformed. You've taken that energy and you've healed. And you closed those wounds. Those wounds are no longer open. Okay? Man, what's the message for the collective? What's this message? Hmm. Man, what's this message? Hangman. Mm hmm. Contemplating, trying to figure out a way to come in and strategize and, you know, try to bamboozle you. Because basically that's what it's all about. Look, two of swords. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't know why I'm sitting there saying somebody could be hungry because I, like, I see them eating a piece of toast and coffee. Thinking somebody could get up early in the morning or late at late at night and have coffee and toast, thinking about a way they can come in and uh, I don't know what they take road see what they I don't know they want to come in and do something what they want to come in and do spirit because I see they want to come in and confess something that's what I think. Ten of swords, ten of wands. Why do I keep saying swords, Lord Jesus? That's been in my mouth all day. Hmm. Ten of wands, a burden. They see you carrying a lot of burdens. Maybe you had to carry burdens during this process, during this healing phase you're going through. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, look, the star on the bottom of the deck. I didn't even see that. Mm-hmm. While you're healing, maybe you had to carry a lot of burdens. Maybe you had to do it by yourself. And this person watched, sat back and watched. No, you know, this is this ten of ten of wands. Ooh, come on, spirit. This ten of wands is somebody doing the work by themselves, carrying their own burdens, planting their own seeds, and then going back and harvesting their own food. You hear me? That's the energy, you know, taking care of themselves. Doing the work themselves, putting in the work and harvesting their own, you know, labor. Spirit, what's this message? Six of Wands. Somebody sees you as having a victory. Yeah, they see people that admire you, look up to you. Got your back. Wow, look at that. Or... Not even to have your back, but people that are are like you, like your soul tribe. That's what I'm looking at. Yeah, somebody sees you have your soul tribe. Mm-hmm. Listen, the star and the queen and the king of swords. I told you this could have been a marriage because the truth caught up there. That's my queen of swords as well, just in another deck. And here go the King of Swords. But this person was very arrogant, though. This 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 King of Swords is arrogant. Uh, a know it all. Can't teach him nothing. Um, it's like you know, like with an egg, right? You got to be real careful. If I was an egg, there's a lot of things I wouldn't do for fear of being, you know, cracking, right? So if you put that in. In, in form of a, a person This person could be very lazy You understand what I'm saying Um Hmm Spirit with look Three of swords in the reverse Yeah You're no longer in the energy of feeling um, Betrayed or broken hearted Or distraught that things didn't go well Cause this really looks like a A wedding cake right Mhm. Mm yeah, you didn't. Yeah, you have victory because you healed. You did the healing. You didn't allow, you know, the energy, the the betrayals, the heartbreak to to turn you into somebody, you know, bitter. I feel like you took everything in stride. I don't feel like you complained. I feel like you just, you know, put your head down and kept your head down and focused on what you had to do, you know. With this healing energy, it's like, you know, going within and, and going into your prayer closet or wherever. And it really, for real, like letting God heal you. That's the energy I'm getting. And when you're in that kind of energy and you're doing your work to, for your own stability, it, you're focused on yourself so it's not hard. You know what I mean? It's like you're doing the same things you be doing for somebody else instead of doing it, you're giving it to yourself. If you were in a relationship and you, you know, paid all the bills and stuff like that, you can do that for yourself, right? But sometimes we we are codependent, right? And we depend on other people to 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 share in our lives with us, you know, not just to come into our lives just to take what we have and then take off. We we want people. That's why we so we're so giving. With our time and our resources because we're willing to share what we have. But a lot of times people take us for granted, you know. Listen, judgment. Now somebody's crying over spilled milk. I'm trying to tell you something. They took you for granted. That's what they did. They took you for granted. Spirit, what's this message? What's going on here with this? Judgment came right on out. Judgment's here. Yep, judgment. They know it too. They know this. This person is feeling that the judgment of what they did. They know that they didn't help you. They didn't support you. They weren't there for you. That they, you know, however the situation went down, you know, to have you guys separate. They know it. They feeling that. 
They understand. They feeling it. They want to come in and apologize. I seen the King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. But this person is still closed off if they're during that King of Cups energy in this deck. They're full armor. They want to come in. But what is it for though? Is it just for stability? Is it just because they need your help? You know what I'm saying? What is it? You no, know, because that's what it feels like. That's what it looks like. Look, because they want you to give to them. They want to come and sit at your table now. Look at that. They want to come and sit at your table. They want to eat. They see all those goodies you got on your table. And here they come. Even Alice looking like, yo, what's he doing here? Ooh. How about when I was reading the, when I was reading my Bible and it was talking about, was it about judgment? Oh, Lord, don't do this. <laughs> Oh, was it John? It was Second John. Second John. Oh, Spirit, what was it? Second John eight. Something. Anyway, Jesus told told Peter. Oh God, come on, come on, let's go. Basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paraphrase it. Okay, he's saying, "Come on, let's go." But you know, Judas. Your know, Judas is here, the one that you know. Betrayed you that you said was going to betray you. Why he coming, right? Jesus said, listen, keep your eyes on me and mind your business. If I say he's supposed to stay alive until I come back, then he's to stay alive until I get back. But he said this to say, whatever I do, with whomever I do it, it ain't none of your concern. You understand? Some people may feel like you're not deserving is what I'm trying to say. And Jesus said, who are you? You keep your eyes on me. Don't watch them. Watch me. Come on, spirit. Hmm. Somebody want to apologize. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm. They want to come and sit at your table. And people may think, and yeah, yeah, they might be like, what? How you gonna let this person come back in? And, you know, but ooh, we somebody, mm -hmm. somebody knows though. Somebody, somebody's not dumb. All right, that's why it, with this truth card, her sword is down. It's like she's not gonna go back and forth with you. She recognizes exactly who you are and what you have done. It's not like you coming to pull the wool over nobody's eyes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's really hoping that <laughs> we that this transformation, this metamorphosis that you went through, right, is going to allow them an out. Allow you know what you know what they they want they want you to forgive. That's what they want. <coughs> Excuse me. They want you to forgive them, but they also want you to let them back in, so you can forgive them. That'd be Christ-like. Listen. Listen, Justice, <laughs> you can forgive them, but you ain't got to let them back in, and they know that. Listen, and you do too. You don't have to, you know, hang out with them and listen, and that's the truth, and they know it. They, they, they know it. They know it. They know that you will forgive them, but you're not going to let them back in. <laughs> they know that because why? Why would you? Why would you? If somebody needs help, do you 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 support them? You give them support, and it doesn't mean it has to be your physical time. You could uh, point them in the right direction. You can give them a phone number. You can drop them off somewhere if they need to be there. You can give them a couple dollars to get there. You heard me. <laughs> Listen, you could be a friend or a supportive person in someone's life, but then by by no means necessary do you have to allow anybody to step inside your boundaries ever again. I don't care how Christ like you say you are, you do not. No. And you pray, you turn them over to God and tell them and tell them where they need to go talk to God. They don't like that shit though. They don't like that. They ain't gonna like that. They ain't gonna like you calling judgment. Mm -mm. Look, they ain't gonna like that. No, 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 no. They ain't gonna like that. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. 
They're gonna have a lot to say too. They're gonna be yield, they're gonna be yielding yep, yielding that sword, that tongue, because they can't get their way. Spirit, what's this message? Two of Cups. Mm hmm They want to fight. They want to fight you. They want to fight for it. Hmm. Yeah, you're not. Yeah, thank you, next. <laughs> I see you. You're looking in the other direction. You're not even looking in this person's direction. You have your mindset on something else. Yeah, you're you're balancing yourself out. You're balanced out. You know, you're not swayed by this person's antics. You know what I mean? You recognize it's coming from a hurt place. Because they lost. They made they chose wrong. You heard? And it's coming from a hurt place. And it's like, how dare you not give me another chance to break your heart? How dare you give me not give me another chance to play games with you? How dare you? I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. How dare you not allow me to come in and disrupt your life and steal your energy. Leave you confused. Hmm. That's exactly what they want to say. That's how they feel and that's how they acting out of that energy. You're not going to let me get another turn. Basically, right? Best three out of five. <laughs> Ooh, what was it? Love and basketball. Best three out of five. Listen. Really? <laughs> Somebody wants you to give them another chance to try and beat you at this game that they want to play. Because this King of Cups has got cards in his hands. He's sitting on the chessboard. You don't know which way they be coming. I'm telling you. You don't know if they, they play in spades or you don't know if they play chess or checkers. That's the illusion they want you under. Uh-uh. Been there, done that, right? <laughs> Twenty-two, twelve. When I said that, come on, spirit. <laughs> Wait, mm -mm, mm -mm. look, cause you comfortable. You too comfortable. They can't come in and disrupt your peace. You solid all the way around. <laughs> Listen, and you got it by the Most High. Stop playing. Yeah, you playing checkers, chess, I mean, not checkers. They playing checkers. <laughs> yes, sir. Listen, listen, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Listen, that's it. That's somebody that you, listen, yeah, they want to come in and they want to pick out for your tree now. No, you tell them no, they cannot. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And ain't neither one of y'all in your emotions. You hold your cup up like, yeah, I see you out there, but I'm not in my emotions over you. See, she's on dry land. They in their emotions, but they playing games with theirs. They deep in the water. <laughs> but they play games with it. You understand? <laughs> Man, listen. Folks, is funny, right? <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Spirit, what is this? <laughs> it's like you looking at him, laughing at him, like, hey, I see you drowning over there. <laughs> it's like, remember when you would get you out that staring game, who could stare the longest without blinking? <laughs> it's like you tear that ass up every time, or high hands, remember? <laughs> Beating somebody at their own game. Hmm? Come on, spirit. <laughs> He's so cool about it. <laughs> Oh, guys, like, I just sit there so calm, and they look, they in the water, it's turbulent, boy, that water. <laughs> Ooh, we, you just sit there on the beach, yeah, getting some sun, like, mm, drinking my margarita. <laughs> it's only a scheme, and I'm going to get to this. <laughs> oh, God, look, you are the star, baby. Mm -hmm. And they know it, and they know it, and they know it. Mm. Oh man, that was funny. <laughs> oh, that was too funny. Look, I'm telling you, this is somebody you married to or you were. <laughs> Listen, I'm done here. Let me get out your biz. Look, tell the cup. That's what y'all both wanted, except they played with it. They played with it. Listen, now the tables have turned, and now you in. Look at this, y'all. And now you in the Nine of Pentacles, and they in their head. You know why? Because you moved away to calmer waters. You said, oh, I'm over it. I'm over it. 
Making a new choice and starting a new beginning. You hear me? They see it. And that's how the story goes. <laughs> Deuces, y'all.